dumped with Janino back at it again. I don't know if I'm gonna do this as a separate part. I haven't decided, but I um went offline apparently. If this is a fucking part, I I'm I'll just label it as part eight point two or some bullshit. Damn. Hey, shout out to P Dizzy though, 1999. I appreciate you and how um involved you were with the stream. I like people whenever they're like that, and I'm able to talk with people and really interact with people. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, not stopping. I just reconnected and we're back at it. So let's do this. Holy fuck, man. John, wait. I changed my mind. I'm coming with you. What are you waiting for? We better hurry. Clearly. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while you were off cavorting with cowgirls in the next county. <sighs> oh, that's a blue. What the Martin. fuck is that? Why are you stopping? Shut up, bitch. Lock onto it. Lock onto it. Lock onto it. You're almost there. Ah! Fuck. She married this pony Miss oh Farley. God. No. She look like? I don't know. Pretty normal. That's a fucking blue jay, guys. That that looks rare as hell. Normal? What? Normal like me? <sighs> Are you sure this is the right way? No. Normal as in two eyes, a mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Songbird. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. You really are a strange man. <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, I see that I have viewers on here now. Um, so what happened was that my fucking shit went to shit and it went offline, but I'm just glad that I was able to reconnect. I don't want to start off the stream from scratch. So, I mean, I don't know if this is a new stream, but I'm probably going to uh, name this one, like, part 9.2 or some shit like that. I'm not going to fucking make this a whole new part, because it's not. And it takes too long to compile a fucking hour and a half or almost two-hour video with a fucking another hour video, so I'm not going to fucking do that shit. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Uh, Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only finding if he was afraid of some fool. Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. A better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. They hated you for it. Yeah, guys, and again, this. Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. So, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Something. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. <laughs> it was the wait. I didn't know if you was coming back. Of course I was coming back. You were only supposed to be gone for a couple of days. I really think we should hurry. No shit, Sherlock. The only thing Bill and Dutch was ever any good at was not getting caught. I started thinking you'd gone back to them. That life's over. I hope you're right. Bill, I'm here, Dutch. Oh, I'm running over all these shit. Don't get more over than that. Or not. Oh, my fucking ass hurts. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden? <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goat some manners. Among other things, I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. 
John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farling? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so <laughs> outnumbered. I need to drive back. Yeah, guys, again, and I said this prior, it's this mission is definitely made to build a connection with your family. Dumb hoe, and she's doing that because she had feelings for me. Ma'am? Weird bitch. So that was the famous Bonnie. That was her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal, like I said. Well, oh my you always God. wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife, if I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. I'm only teasing. I like her. And I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did flush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. <laughs> You've clearly had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marston. Well, my boy John Marston is a straight player. Out there. That'll be us someday. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? An outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? The whole gang's dead. She has they a fucking dead. point, Marcy. And that's it? A lot of pride for killing? We're back together, ain't we? Until they decide you owe them something else. Sometimes I think I was the stupid one in believing I could get out. Maybe Dutch, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are, and they were. Maybe we can't change. But we gotta try to protect sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times. It's better than going back to what we were. Almost there. Angry, upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be all right. It's gonna take time. For a while, his world was safe, normal even. Then it got turned upside down again. You ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him, but how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Bill and Uncle Dutch? They were family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. Well, now we well, got we're to back at home. Right. Enough with your chitter chatter. Probably need another beer right now. Just we keep me going. Good today, John. <sighs> I guess I better go fix us something to eat. <sighs> There you go. Family member is not here right now. Come back later. What the fuck? He's right there. All right, put the gun away.
Uncle whatever the fuck his name is, he's right there, you fucking idiot. He's right there. <sighs> what the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna go get another beer. Get up, old man. I, I am up. Get up. Oh. Oh. There, I'm up. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. Mount your horse. Yes, buddy, I know that. Give me a sec. Fuck. Alright, let's do this shit. I missed the cutscene. If there's any kind soul out there, please let me know what the fuck happened. Some more cowboy let's shit. Out. Oh, not again. Here we go. Let's keep it moving now. Let's go. Move it up. And you always have a fucking quadruplet of a bunch of, or, uh, like a hex toplet. Oh my god! Look at these fucking idiots. Dude, I'm ready to just fucking kill them all. Straight, there you go. See, you guys aren't that stupid. Damn. Pasture looks over great. Let's take him out to the plane. Come on. <sighs> Easy. Uh, come on, you dumb piece of shit. Slow down. My boy, I thought you had left my boy. Whoa, shit. Stop the herd. Yeah. No. No. Fuck. You're a dead man. Got him down. Hey, man. Got new life. Pieces of shit, man. There's a 
last one at. I'll fucking run your ass over. Piece of shit. Who the hell is this fella? Speak to the engineer. I think we're safe. Thank you. I thought we were. Yeah, how much? Let's go count how many Just fucking cows out. I lost. Now you take care. Come on. Come on. <laughs> old habits die hard, I see. You'll never learn. Shut up. Shut it, old man. Yeah. Come on. Let's get this herd moving again. Uh, none of mine died. Oh, 12 out of 15. Yeah, there's one that died. Fuck it. It's not a. That's not bad. Oh, that's fucked up, bro. That was like your brother. You probably all fucked right. him for all I you know. You stay front. I'm running over him and shit. Um. Uh, yeah. Go. I'll read your comment right now, P. Dizzy. Just give me a sec. Whoa. But yeah, hey, I'm glad you fought. You were, uh, you're back on the stream, buddy. Yeah, my fucking internet took a shit. So as far as my parts on YouTube go, this is gonna be not a part 10, but more so a part 9.2. Basically, John gave the old, gave the old man a hard time again, saying he's only been useless and a thief. His response saying that it's easy to pick on the elderly, but. It's not dignified. Yeah, well, what I've noticed about older people, yeah. it's not that they disregard what the younger generation has to say. It's just like more so of like a, a sigh and they're like, uh, you, you don't understand type of deal. So, I mean, shit, even me myself with like the younger generation that's been before me whenever I give them advice or I try to help them out or something. I just take a sigh and I'm like, yeah, you don't understand. Only time's gonna only time is what's gonna help you, not a uh, advice. And I feel like it's the same thing no matter how old you get. But enough of that crazy talk. Let's go fucking finish up these missions, guys. <laughs> this is the last uh, uncle mission. So I already finished all the Abigail missions and all this is gonna be the last uncle mission. And then after that, we have three more missions. So four in total. Not bad, guys. Ah, no, don't do Jack. Fuck, I got Jack's first mission, which is... Shit. Ain't that five. I'll blow right through these, though. It won't take long. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, would you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. What? Well, I'd... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. <laughs> I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. <sighs> I think it's funny. I don't know why I was dwelling on it. But I think it's pretty funny how Jack says sir to his dad. What the fuck? It kind of it kind of reminded me of whenever I was younger. So whenever I was in third grade, there was this uh, transfer kid. Um, again, I, I was living in the Central Valley at this time. And he was, that new kid was right. from uh, now Mississippi. Stay close to the dog, son. I would say this is about... Maybe 2004 going into 2005. And the kid, like I said, he was from Mississippi, and he had a habit of uh, sure saying sir and ma'am. 
I guess so. And I just remember um, is calm and patient. me overlooking the like fact an that he did it an and my right? teachers praising it. it. I'm like, okay, he, he calls you mad and shit, but it's like you don't I see that know. nowadays, especially not nowadays. Me, There's lots of things I ain't done with Pretty you. Pretty cool. But I'm gonna try and make up for that. Hey. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee? Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Until the next time, you mean? There won't be a next time. Look. Pick up the don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all before. How about you shut the fuck up for a bit? You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. Jack, there's one up ahead. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Where is it? Come on. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. I'll show you how to cut the meat. Come on. I thought it was going to get away. That was yeah, great, huh? Right. You just got to wait for the right shot, not rush it. Woo! That's a big one. So she said. A decent price in Manzanita. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Come on, let's go. All right. Let's see if we can find some more. Go on, Rufus. You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch it. I know, I know. I saw how you did it. If you say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Come on. Whoa, whoa. Get after him, boy. Slow down. I wonder if you can actually train dog to, or train dogs to do this. Where is Pretty it, sure you can, but fuck if I know. Find them, Rufus. Slow it up now. There they are. Jack, come on. your turn. Can I cut it? I can't. Come on. Does it really show a visual of him cutting it? Oh, okay, it shows a cutscene. About to say. So has it hit that's funny. <laughs> It. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. You dig it, baby? You dig it? 
Shut the fuck up. I'll see you at Manzanita. Jack's horse died? Bitch, how? All right. Now, come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Keep up, motherfucker. Now you want to go fast, huh? Piece of shit. All right, here we are. Let's go. Well, howdy. The selection bothers engine. Hi there. Just take all the shit that I have, dude. I don't fucking need any of it. I hope you enjoy a smooth ride. Next year, the trains will be running even faster. Mark my words. You're all set. Bro, I was wondering what the fuck happened. What do you mean, buddy? Thank you. As far as, like, the mission failed? Yeah, That's dude, I don't fucking know. Sale. All done. Let's head home. How do you do, sir? Ooh, fuck, guys. I can already, I can already feel the Come end on. coming. Right home. Whoa. Come on, before your dumbass horse fucking dies again. Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did have to work. That ain't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to think, guys, like I'll the process of actually you. being able to eat. I sure uh, hope we so. We take it for granted and for damn sure. you can look after sure. us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? Just go to the grocery store and buy everything we need instead of growing our shit, raising our shit, and having to kill our own shit. Oh, Paul, that was so much fun. I can't really believe it. Just like in the books. <sighs> we'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. What's up, Jack? 6 p.m. Yeah, let me go inside and take a nap, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I need to fucking load up on ammo, though. I can tell you that for right now. All right, guys, pretty fucking close, I'm telling you. I need to do all this shit. My fucking ears rest for a bit. Yeah, I don't know how these fucking Twitch guys do it, man. They go for uh, fucking 12 hours, you know, on one sitting. Like, what kind of shit is that? I don't think I'll ever be able to do that shit, and, and if I do, they better be paying me some damn good money for doing that. Uh, no, not Jack. Fuck Jack. Oh, he's up there. Yeah, this is the last uh, mission for this old guy. So after this, it's nothing but Jack, and then and that's it, guys. What are you looking at, old man? 
There's some Mustangs and some such out there. Hey, that Mustangs. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Hmm. Are you gonna mount up, kid? Come on, follow me. Hurry the fuck up. Where are we going now? Yeah. Why you gotta act so biggity all the damn time? What happened to what you? What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid <sighs> I'd do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on. I'm getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years. Get up now. <laughs> uh, right. I see him. Come on. Come on now. There you go. Calm it down. Come on, baby. Calm down. Uncork that rock, boy. That's it. That's it. Holy hell. You got him now, come John. On, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, you got it. There you go. You, got you one really ain't helping you. Sure. White one. I'm gonna go for that white one. Ah, come on. Let's go. Ah, you bitch. Come on. There we go. Come on. Relax. Let's go. Uh, let me see. Hold up. I didn't read your comment. Uh, let me see. Give me a sec. Fuck. It's a lot of reading, hold up. Bruh, come on, dude, just give in. Oh! Are you fucking serious? God damn. Lean into it. Go. Let me guess, you want one more. <laughs> Good job. Go on. Quiet, old Get man. After another one. Four hour streams are plenty of time. Two hour streams are pretty hardcore. I'll have to see if we got those seltzers here. Oh, uh, yeah, hold up. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what kind of uh, seltzers these are. Um. I don't recommend them though. If you do have them, just stay away from them. Stay from your, or just get your your traditional white claw or whatever. Now relax. Whoa there. Yeah, I've relax. never done. I think this is probably one of the longest streams I've ever done. 30 minutes and then the last piece was I think a little it was hitting two hours so I'm like two and a half I think two and a half to three hours usually might mark this one might bleed a little over because I'm trying to beat this game which I'm very fucking close so I might hit a four hour mark 
It's pretty insane to, insane to me. I've never hit a uh, stream that's that long. Uh, these seltzers are... Um, they're, I don't know if you ever had those Arizona iced teas. They're actually really good. The Arizona iced teas are fucking delicious. So they came out with their own seltzer, and it's not the best. Um, the one I had earlier was a grapefruit. That one wasn't the best. Uh, the one that I'm drinking right now is a lemon. It's not the best either. Um, if you want to get a seltzer that's going to fuck your ass up. I think that's enough for now. Let's get him back to the Oh, range. my horse. If you want a seltzer that's gonna fuck your ass up and ha doesn't have a very strong, strong taste, uh, try one of these. Uh, these are um, Bud Light Platinum Seltzers, 8% alcohol. Fuck your shit up, man. It'll turn a nice Tuesday afternoon into a fucking Saturday night, buddy. I can promise you that. But they're good. Um, they're they're good. Not not like these uh, Arizona ones and they're definitely better than cacti if you've had Travis Scott's uh, cacti drink they're better than that and cacti I believe is 8% yeah and you see like you might you might like those Arizona drinks but dude like the seltzers I'm, try them try them if you like them cool if you don't stay away from them all right, uh, I want more missions, buddy. Oh, no, that was his last one. All right, so we go to Jack, and we do his missions, and then uh, we're pretty close. Jack, hurry the fuck up and start shooting into the air like we were earlier. But, dude, yeah, Arizona iced tea. Strawberry kiwi. I think my parents drink that shit. Though Those are good, too. Wolves, dogs, and sons. Okay, yeah. Three missions left, guys. Three missions, baby. You're tensing up. I'm not. <sighs> you are. Your back's tense, and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't show me, and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. Uh, Better I teach myself. I see this? Nowhere. Tss, you say, Paul. Burn, so baby, hard. burn. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safe with too. Okay. This was gonna get bit. All right, let's do this, baby. Come on, the dog will soon sniff him out. Oh. Yeah. What the fuck? Um, the Arnold Palmers half and half are good though. Yeah, dude. The Arnold Palmers are really good. It's what fathers do. Um. Just trying to look out for it. Yeah, half and half is delicious. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. It, it's funny. <laughs> um, I'll tell you this story right now. After this dialogue. Take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. So, funny story. Uh, I didn't know when Arnold Palmer was until 2016 or 15. Come on, we can't stop now. I think it was 2015. Every time you go up, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make it, can they? It's complicated, but seems they can. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start have to be finished. So I used to work at Panera Bread, and we have a lemonade that I mean, we don't make. I didn't really but... know him. He died when I was just a boy. Jack, he's found a scent. Don't give up now. Let's keep moving. Um, yeah, we sell. They used to sell lemonade. I'm pretty sure they still do. <coughs> and, uh, unsweetened iced tea. Uncle, really? Your uncle? <laughs> no. 
least I sincerely hope not. He's probably lots of people's father, though. Well, why do you call him Uncle Ben? Folks always did. Probably because he's always been older than everybody else. He was old when I was a kid. You can't be tired already. And I, um... Come on. I was working drive through one time. Kid, oh, shut the fuck up. So I was working drive through one time, on and... Earth. Somebody in the sure drive-thru asked me for an is. Arnold Palmer, and I literally, I'm like, Go on, Rufus. what the fuck's an Arnold Palmer? And then they laughed, and they said it's half IC, half uh, lemonade. I was like, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. It's pretty cool. Where the fuck are those? Uh. Keep your wits about you. Gotta make sure they're dead. All right, let's get out of here. Come on, we can't stop now. Good work, son. Go on now, Rufus. Find the rest of them. There they are. Come on, son. Come on. Oh, what the fuck shotgun is this? I don't remember me getting it. What the hell? Sounds bad as fuck. Don't give up now. Let's keep moving. All right, we should head back now. We got out further than I thought. Uh, I knew that drink. I just didn't know they called them that. Um, yeah. Uh, traditionally, yeah, they are called Arnold, Arnold Palmer, but I personally did not know they were called that either. They should have just told me I want half lemonade and half ice cream. Like, all right, yeah. I got you. But no, they said, oh, I want all the Palmer. I'm like, what the fuck's that? Get nice kind of fucking 70 year old type of shit is that who is Arnold again, Palmer Jack? anyway I'm gonna fucking call my first child that Arnold first, if it's a girl or if it's a guy fuck you I'm gonna shit uh last time I had yeah. Panera I burned uh my tongue of course uh oh shit I don't want to jump off no quick what? I burned my tongue with the mac and cheese no regrets <laughs> that shit was banging Baby, hey, but I live my life believing there's a difference between the fucking and mac and cheese at Panera is really good, dude. Like, no. I'm not gonna cap, it's fucking both. amazing. That's how it goes. But we all do what we have to to survive. But I hope Panera in the end, doesn't sue me for this. For what we did. And I hope Panera doesn't exactly. get my work contract Look, and kid, use this against me. Rules were different, but it's over now. Um, yeah, the mac and cheese is not fresh. It's packaged, it's frozen, it comes to us in a, in a box. We throw that shit in a, in a, in a warmer. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's like a, kind of like a very warm water. We just drop them in there and just let them thaw out for like an hour or so. And then we pick them up, we cut them, and then we put them in the bowls. Or we just drop them in the microwave when it's frozen and then boom, they're ready. It ain't like they tell it in books. No Probably not what you wanted life. to hurt, Dizzy, but they're ugly. fucking they're good, man. Right, Where am I going? <laughs> you have a farm of your own. You can read and write. Nope. Uh, let's see. Don't He's a golf life, player, son. I think. Maybe it's like a signature drink or something. Oh, Arnold. Come on. Maybe, man. I'll actually look into that. Next cutscene, baby. Turn into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. <laughs> Alright, guys. Two missions left. We're, we're fucking getting there. We are getting there, guys. You do, sir. You're of sending night in the bleak western wilderness. Law and eyewitness only report crimes after the first murder committed. What does that mean? 
Jack, get your ass over there. I'm trying to do another mission. Yeah, I'm still in time. Where the fuck is Jack? Looks like I'm gonna have to go inside, take a nap, come back outside. I think it says 6 p.m. to 5 or something about 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's almost 6 p.m. So I know as soon as I go to bed, uh, it's gonna tell me that I can't do it anymore. Is he out there yet? Nah, he's not. Uh, get in bed. Fucking 11 o'clock. So two more naps. Wake up. Do the mission. Then do the last mission and... Call it good. Yeah, like, at this point, guys, like, whenever I had my first playthrough, I really didn't know how far I was coming along in the game. I was just under the impression that, all right, I guess this is the new chapter. Me living my life happily with my family and shit, and I'm like, alright, this is it. And then, yeah, this is how the game's gonna end, but... You get a rude awakening pretty soon. Arnold Palmer. Alexa. Who is Arnold Palmer? John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, Shout out to Dizzy. You were fucking right, my buddy. Tails, huh? My man. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Uh, also, I figured the Panera Mac no. and cheese, I had I actually one of those microwavable bowls from Damn a grocery you, store. Man. This is my son. Anything yeah. happens to him, you wish you Restaurant that chains are pretty good about making their food taste the same no matter what part of the world you live in. Consistent. Um, yeah. And uh, you're right for the most part. I think the only thing that changes, and as far as Panera goes, is that they outsource their, veg Rufus? their vegetables, I yeah. think, locally. Not internationally or nationally. On, um, so things like, I think they're... Maybe their chicken and like their pastas and their, oh, not their breads. Where's Jack? That shit is probably uh, fairly consistent, but I think their breads and their vegetables is what it's kind of diverse because I think we get our shit locally. But I mean, dude, for uh, to be fair, Panera's pretty good. <laughs> not gonna lie. I'm doing guys. I completely missed that cutscene. Oh, I ran him over. <laughs> Piece of shit. Let's go. Where's Jack? Where is he? Oh, Jack went missing. Oh, fucking dumbass kid. Uh, I know to self don't have kids. <laughs> they go missing and shit. Find Jack, Rufus. Go. Slow Come on, Rufus. Find Jack. Easy. You pe so just stop stopping like that then. I won't fucking hit you if you do that shit. Jack, you Jack! dumb motherfucker. Why are you here? here? Oh man. 
Why is he up here? He's probably dead for all I know. Was a bear. There's a bear. Oh, help me! I'm hurt. Jack, stay down. Oh shit! Don't move. Keep your head down. Bastard. All right, let's get it. It was all what fucked the hell up, huh? What you thinking going off on your own? You're just a boy. No, I'm not. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. Dumbass. Well, there goes my last uh, sun sunrise hard seltzer. Don't drink these. Don't drink these. Now hold tight. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. You're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. Dumbass. What did I tell you about going off by yourself? I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a real man. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Son, Damn. I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. Well, shit, brother. Come on. Easy. Hold up, hold up, Dizzy. What's your mother gonna say? Uh... I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust me, son. I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're safe. Fuck, you might as well take that shortcut. Um, that's dope. Never been cause the... Sh shit. Cause... Yeah. Fuck, hold up. Going after a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. I'm not a little kid anymore. What were you doing at my age? Bad thing. Things nobody should do. But your mom and me, we didn't have what you have. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should be grateful. I'm not asking you to be grateful. I'm asking you to do what I say before you get yourself killed. Dead ass. There's always one set of rules for you and another set for everybody else. You think I don't know what you did back in the old days? I'm not stupid. You could have fooled me. You think I didn't sit up and listen to Dutch and Bill telling all those stories? You think I don't know who you are? It ain't no secret I didn't get these scars falling over in church. I'm uh, sorry that's dope. Worry, Never Paul. been, cause the nearest Don't one closed. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. <clears throat> Couple ain't years as much ago. fun as it looks. Um. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. Are you talking about the Panera? Yeah, you gotta, uh, you gotta try their food. It's very expensive. Not gonna lie. But there's some foods that are actually really good that I would say it's worth trying. Just to try though, I don't think it's worth the money. I'm not saying it's worth the money. Nothing there is worth the money, but it's worth the try. If you have the money. Uh, dude, I'm not trying to run into a bear IRL. They're faster than you might initially think. You know what? I I listen a lot to Joe Rogan's podcast and he's had people uh, on there that are hunters. And then they start talking about bears and shit like that. And dude, just their reactions to bears. Hey, I'm like, uh-uh. Hey, Paul. Fuck yeah, that, that shit. When sure I went I to Lake it. Tahoe, I encountered two bears. They're California like bears, so I don't think they're there to hurt you, but no, fuck that, tools. dude. Fuck all that. Thank you, Paul. 
to make this land real nice one day. Oh, is this the last mission? Me and your mother. We'll do our this part. is it, guys. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be this the nicest is it. farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. <sighs> Let's go, baby. This is it. Just gotta learn to shoot straight, or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? I well, ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stops shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John! Come here! John, come here, quick! Take a look at that. <sighs> Jack, Fuck. go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside, you hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy! Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. Come on! There's still time for you to run, old man. I'll hold him here. Uh... I needed that fucking rifle ammo. <laughs> Alright guys. Uh case case closed. Uh game's over. <laughs> Fuck. But yeah, man, this this is literally the beginning on, of the end man. right here. I have a shotgun. Why? Try to get some of that rifle ammo. Or shotgun ammo. There we go. All right, guys. Literally the beginning of the fucking end. <sighs> Check on your family, boy. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Ah, oh, you dumbass oh. kid. What do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Oh, look how many there are. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? I ain't gonna let that happen. You ain't gonna take us! You said this was oh, over. you fucking idiot! Uncle, are you alright? Damn it! I'm hit! I did what 
I'm not gonna lie guys, it, it kind of does, in a sense, piss me off. Or frustrate me at the huh? least. Be what you want some dick? Uh, shout out to Horse the Sniffer. Horse Sniffer? Is that how you pronounce your name? Shout out to Horse Sniffer. Uh, you're the latest uh follower. Um, but what I was saying is this kind of pisses me off just for the fact that Rockstar does try to make you feel like you invest your time into certain people. And I felt like I, I invested my time into that old shit. And now I'm kind of mad. I'm like, oh, you bastards. Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Holy shit. Get so close, dude. Fuck. I hope it like starts off where um homeboy got shot. What do they want? You bastard. I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. No, I ain't gonna let that happen. Fuck out of my way. Uh, dude, come on, I'm gonna die again. I see him. I might not die, I just need to reload and continue. Uh, bro, is that law raining down on John, or is it the other game? No, it's on, it's on, uh, yeah, it's on Marston, dude. It's on, uh, yeah, it's on John. Don't worry about me. It's because he killed everybody, and I don't, I don't know if you... No! Uncle, please! Rest in peace, Uncle. I don't know if you were there when I, when, um, uh, when Dutch killed himself, but right before he killed himself, he said, they're gonna find someone else to point their fingers at, and call the bad guy and that's what i was saying i was like this is him watch from the silo you two go to john marston is a new train. bounty john, guy i'll meet you there they, and the way that they fucked over john was that they made sure that they got someone within their gang they pulled him out held his family hostage made him kill everybody in his gang and the last guys left is marston so i mean it's a really shady way to do business as far as the government goes but business is business We'll make a run for the barn. Stay close and keep your eyes open. There's more coming down the hill. Hey, fuck you. Don't waste time, eh? 
aiming, just shoot! You'll hit something! Where the fuck am I gonna go? It's gonna Protect. be fun! Where are they at? I thought they were fucking running for their lives. Alright, you're covered! Now go! Go! Come on! Pick them off! Stupid horse driving my fucking way. Now, quick, run for it. Why are you doing it? Last one, well, baby. Fuck. Yes, that's that. <sighs> I'm actually sobering up a lot from playing this stupid mission. What the hell? Hey. <sighs> All right, this is the fucked up part, guys. Now listen, Jack. I'm not gonna say anything know, until the game's over. Horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me. You hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! There's no way, guys. Where's my smoke at? Definitely a time to, to hit a smoke if you need it to. You do go back to the farm. <clears throat> yeah, guys, I'm not going to lie. After that specific scene, dude, I was, like, genuinely sad. Like, how the fuck am I going to invest about 10 hours of my personal time doing side missions, building up with some sort of bond with fucking John Marson, and then that happens? Not only that, but to also, like, have to come back home trying to live a normal life after you fucking killed all of your old friends because of some government bullshit and then this happened to you like it, it's a real fucked up story like and that's i didn't want to spoil anything but it's a fucked up story
to say the least. Shit's good. Got this shit from Lake Tall. I still have some puffs in it. I don't bury me beneath the western sky on the lone prairie. <clears throat> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Cold world we live in. This is years later, guys. Uh, look, just look at the cross. Look at everything. This is years later. Even more fucked up. Oh, Jack, full grown man. Three years later. Fuck. Yep, guys, that's how the game ends. There is one more mission. One more mission. But like I, honestly, after all of after this next mission, I I just lost a lot of interest into continuing continuing to play this game because <clears throat> um it, it's just like you're playing with Jack now. It just doesn't feel the same. But you, I mean, it has all the same actions. You have all the same guns. It's kind of yeah. fucked up. There is a side mission though. I would love to do. Which hold? On, give me a sec. Let me find it. guys hold up let me try to get this last mission in before i call it quits because whenever you do this mission then the credits roll in which is what i'm trying to get GX. Oh, can you guys hear that? For... Nope, I don't want you to hear that. Shout out to PewDiePie. <laughs> Alright. Alright, guys, I know where I'm going. Uh, let me set up shop, and then I'll head my happy ass up there. There it is right there, buddy. Uh, yeah. It's... No, it's actually over here. <clears throat> yeah, I just don't want to spoil anymore. Uh, U.S. Army outfit. It said Jack joins up with the army. I think so. I honestly think so, which is sounds retarded uh, to me, but I think so. <clears throat> Thank you. 
I hope it has a side mission. I don't want to call it quits right here. Yes. All right, guys. I'm only asking for about 20 more minutes at the max from your time. Hello, but it's, I feel like it's really good. Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar All right, enough Ross. smoking. He's no. done smoking. <laughs> well knew of him. A fine man, if you want to know. <clears throat> Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. Beats fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. Hello. Still here? All right, guys, I'm going to be quite honest. At this point, I'm just the. Uh... You need a ride, sir? Yeah. If you wouldn't mind. No! That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, at this point, I'm going to be quite honest, guys. Like I was saying, I'm, I'm going through a walkthrough just to be able to bring these missions because these missions are supposed to come about as you play as Jack. The game is already over. John Marston's dead. His mom's dead. Uh, you know, it, it's it's up to you to, as Jack, to kind of um, well, what is the word I'm looking for? To kind of get some justice for your family. Thus is why they call this game Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, but we're almost there guys just at this point it's all story no um nothing really too big but yeah guys he's dead fucked up i didn't want to play this game after that shit i was kind of so heartbroken and devastated i didn't want to do it And just listen to the dialogue. It's just so you know how fucked up this shit is, too. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Everyone has their own family, their own problems, Edgar and their own issues. Some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry. I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting. On the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. Yeah. <sighs> yup. <sighs> I thought you wanted to speak to Edgar. Bro, I'll fucking kill your ass. This should be the last straw. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Make sure my shotgun's loaded. Uh, Edgar Ross is the guy that was smoking at the end of the fucking game. 
FYI, this is five years later. Hey there, mister. How's the hunt? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts with his wife. I know him. He's my brother. Mm. Gone down river. Duck hunt. <coughs> Be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Man, the charisma behind this fucking guy. He's just so sly. He talks to his old partner, not even knowing who the fuck Jack is. He talks to Edgar Ross's wife and his brother. And uh, this guy's fucking cold blooded, man. But I mean, I. I can't relate, but still, dude, fuck. I mean, if you're not, if you're living under a rock, you probably don't know what I'm doing, but if you've been watching me for the past couple hours, you know what I'm gonna do right now, so. Hold tight, we'll get some justice for the guy. We'll call it a night, and yeah. One hell of a ride, guys, and this is one hell of a fucking jog. Here we go. Oh, red markers, baby. Shut up. No, leave me alone. I have my own shit. Yeah, guys, there's a red marker down there, so you know what that means. Oh, there he is. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Yeah, I okay, mean, you, you have a point, you, Dizzy. You have a fucking I have point. A message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found. You killed my father. Your father, father himself. killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. about to go down baby don't fuck it up don't fuck it up Nothing but headshots up in that bitch. All right, run it back. Run it back. That okay? Act like that shit didn't happen. All right, fresh. I don't know. I don't know anything about this. We haven't shot him. We haven't dueled him. All right, new, new, uh, new part. All right, all right, guys. Yeah, I'm about to uh go sh uh shoot this guy. As soon as the fucking Xbox loads. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, this isn't how the fucking game ends. Oh, shit. I'm dead. Yeah, guys, I'm just getting a little impatient, but you clearly know what's going to happen right now. It's fucking stupid. Where the fuck is he at? I'm not, I'm not jogging that far, by the way. No.
Yeah, dude, the, the, it's like hit or miss with the tutorials. I, I honestly, like, to this day, I feel like I don't completely understand it 100%. I know that you're supposed to, like, draw first, immediately draw, and then work your way up and just start shooting the guy. But, I mean, I clearly got all headshots, but that didn't fucking work. He got me with one shot. Um, yeah, let's try it out again. It's stupid. Alright, I'm skipping this. Rocks? I don't need to know that. Alright, guys. Press A to skip the... Okay, let's do the tutorial. I, apparently, I don't fucking know. I lost. So, as soon as it says draw, you push LT. What the fuck? That's some fucking bullshit. All right, let's read the stupid thing. Now this is pissing me off. I think I'm just going to go up there and kill him myself without no stupid um, drawing gun bullshit. What the fuck did this stupid thing say? Journal. Give me the fucking horse. I'm not fast traveling this time. Go, oh, you stupid ass. Starling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. Hmm. All right, let's fucking do this. I just read the stupid tutorial. Yeah, it's something like that. Dude, what the fuck? I what am I doing wrong? There's fucking this is bullshit at this point. I ah, dude. Don't get don't fucking tell me I got into another rut. Draw your gun using LT alternatively. Use 
Push RB or RT to place your shots. I'm just losing fucking sleep, guys. I'm so fucking close, like it's fucking annoying how close I am and yet I can't fucking kill this guy. Last try, if I can't do it here, I'm just gonna Excuse fucking pull me. up next time and just you kill the Ross? shit out of him. Do I know you? Forgive me for starling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one, too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well! I ain't going nowhere, old man. What is this, fourth time, third time to charm? That's it, guys. We are done. Rockstar San Diego, shout out to San Diego, shout out to Steve Martin, Dave Knuckler, uh, Ted Carson, Christian uh, Cantamesa, Joshua Bass, and the story goes on. Um, typically, whenever I finish these walkthroughs, guys, I try to get, I try to pull the moral of the entire story. I wasn't able to do that with GTA 4. Uh, I don't even remember what GTA 4 was about, so I'm not going to even try to get into it. Um, but the moral of the story I feel like behind this fucking game is more so just at an early life, make sure you don't do too many fuck ups because that shit's going to treat or it's going to, um, it's going to be on your ass until the very end. Clearly you saw what happened to John Marston. Think, think ahead of your life and not so much at the moment or prior. And this also goes to uh, Jack Marston. I personally, I know it's hard, but I feel like the best thing he could have done was just let it go. Because guess what? Uh, now that life that he's going to live with his family, with his wife, with his kids, it's going to catch up to him and he's going to get blasted too, just like his dad. That being said, you just got to learn how to live life the right way, the best way that you can every day day in and day out no matter what the circumstances are and no matter how hard life gets because whenever that shit gets hard as fuck whether you want to do dumb shit or whether you don't want to do dumb shit 
you know, that urgency is always going to be there. Think in the long term, because we're here for a marathon. This isn't a sprint, guys. This isn't no 400 meter dash. This is a fucking marathon. So if you plan for years on end, for kids, for grandkids, etc., you're probably more likely to succeed than whether you're planning on what's going on to in today's age. That's all I got to say. Mic drop right there. Dumzo Danino back at it. Thank you everybody to watch who watched it. This big shout out to uh, P Dizzy. You came through at the very last moment, man. I, I really appreciate whenever people like you come through. And that's why I like to do some of these videos sometimes is I get to meet new people, talk to new people and uh, learn things about people from the East Coast and Delaware and shit. So I thought that was cool. Uh, big shout out to you for uh, joining. Um, but yeah, guys, as far as everything else goes, this is the end of a chapter, but this is not the end of a book. Again, that's how life should be lived, no matter what circumstance. End of a chapter, but never the end of the book. So that being said, I don't know what else I can say out of my dumb ass, but make sure you think in the long term and not the short term. Remember, this is a fucking marathon, not a sprint. So that being said, if you're on Twitch, head over to YouTube, uh, hit that subscribe button, watch all the parts that you didn't get to watch. If you're on um, Twitch, head over to my uh, YouTube and wait, did I just say that? If you're on YouTube, whatever, you know what I'm fucking saying. I'm on Twitch, I'm on YouTube, I'm here all the fucking time. The next game that I'm going to play is uh, Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 right after I finish my vlog. Once you see my vlog go up, then you'll know. All right. He's about to start uh, RD2. Uh, P. Dizzy, I think GTA 4 is about trying to live a good life in America, but constantly getting brought down by your past. Nico came to Liberty City because of all the good things Roman was saying about uh, life there. And I couldn't agree more. The thing about GTA 4 and the takeaway about that is that despite the grudges and shit that you have for certain people, you gotta learn. you gotta learn to let them go. Because whatever was significant in your personal life was probably not significant in another person's life. Thus, Nico being really sad that all of his uh, family or all of his uh, army got murdered by, um, I forgot the guy's name, but him specifically. And then when Nico finally meets up with him, he realizes what kind of a piece of shit he was, this and that. And it's like, is it even worth you trying to kill him? You know, and if you kill him or not, and the decisions that you do after that um, determine the game and how the game ends you either save kate or you uh save roman me personally uh kate was annoying as shit to me so i saved roman um but yeah that's like that's my um draw from the moral of gta 4 is just like just learning to let go no matter how bad it was and you can kind of tie that into this game as well as far as john and his dad i mean john marston and um jack and then all the officers that killed him, well, obviously, he went back to kill the, to kill that guy. But like I said, guys, you're in a marathon. You're not in a sprint. If you think about life on the long end, you're more likely to, likely to be successful in terms of planning ahead and not planning in the short term. I know personally too many people who plan too soon and don't think about the long run. And then, I mean, we'll see where they end up. I hope they end up in good spots, but there's certain there's certain levels to life that you need to understand before you just start, you know, not thinking and doing shit. But again, guys, I need to close this shit out. I need to be up early as fuck tomorrow. I'm going to go watch the Dodgers. If you're at the Dodger game, I don't know. Hit me up. I don't fucking know. I don't I don't know. I don't care. But vlog, then RD2. Once you see that vlog go up, Know that RD2 is coming soon. Blind walkthrough, blind everything. My first time playing it. I'm going to enjoy the shit out of it. I don't know anything about the story. Don't spoil it for me. But again, guys, thank you for everyone. To everyone that's watched this from Twitch to YouTube, anything and everything, etc. I appreciate you. This is a side thing of mine. I'm, I really enjoy doing this. It's not a priority because I already have a full-time job, but I'd really enjoy doing this. If not, I would have been doing it. That being said, guys, stay fresh, stay classy. Dumzo Danino signing the fuck out. 
to another successful playthrough on this channel. RD1 is complete. RD2 is coming up shortly. Just wait on it. Again, everybody, thank you. Have a great night. Have a great morning. And always think positive. We're in this for the long run. This is a marathon. This is not a sprint. Mic drop, baby. See you guys and RD2. Thank you.